Hey, what's up, Cease and Desist Virgin Gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. So today I had the pleasure of watching a follow-up video that occurred based off of something we talked about recently. Two vendors that were at a actual event where they got into a little bit of a tussle. They got into a little bit of a rumble. They were going to fight each other, put up the dukes, and just let fists fly, apparently. So this is going to be a follow-up to Catch em Collectibles, North Carolina and South Carolina. So first and foremost, Rattle did do a video discussing this entire thing. It is two hours. He has interviewed both parties. I watched most of it. And I will say you should probably go watch that video if you want like actual takes from everything. I'm just going to be laying out how I feel about the entire thing. I'm not I'm not going to a two hour recap session or something like that. Good for him. He wants to do it. I'll have the video link down here. Check it out if you want. But a lot was said. And the biggest thing I kind of want to hit on was just the, the delusion of some people where they feel like they are entitled to some of these actual trademarks or something like that, or the actual intellectual properties that was said quite a bit during this fucking exchange of words, like intellectual properties was said a lot, a lot. People were just talking about that over and over. And especially for the catch em, North Carolina, they were talking big time about this rattle actually interviewed both of them, the Mr. And the Mrs. of the North Carolina versions and the, the Mrs. Especially she was really hell bent on talking about a lot of things she talked about you know how the trademark worked how her trademark is pending how she can legally enforce that based off this this and this and it really got me thinking especially because there's a ton of other catch them related people that have like instagram profiles there's ebay sellers there's other stores i'm sure like is that gonna apply like massively or are you just gonna like just go after every single person who maybe has had that trademark or maybe has had that actual name longer than you perhaps like for all we know like maybe someone has that stuff already trademarked whatever not the point they're, they'll work on their federal stuff they're still talking about that but their their common law trademark was talked about a whole lot whenever it comes to that stuff but i think the biggest thing the biggest delusional take that i think i got from this was basically if pokemon decided that they want to crack down on both versions of catch em collectibles that they would be willing to fight the pokemon and the nintendo lawyers for that entire thing and that was just fucking delusion to me that was just something where i realized oh we're actually dealing with karens and i realized this actual interview made them look much worse than they actually did previously on the video that was shown otherwise like the, the whole interaction with them just reeks of like entitled bullshit where they feel like they're entitled to this like they want people to respect their originality they want people to respect their business they want people to respect how how they run things but none of what they've done is original at all i mean catch them is straight up from the marketing of pokemon gotta catch them all you just shorten it you took out a word here you took out a word there if pokemon or nintendo really want to crack down on you they 100 could and you're not gonna fight that i'm sorry it's just not gonna happen there's gonna be too many things that they're just gonna bleed you dry before you actually have a chance of even winning that i'm, I'm sorry they had it first every single piece of marketing beforehand has had catch them or gotta catch them all or something like that like it, it's very much what you're trying to do and it's not like your own original idea i want to catch them all or anything no that is straight up from Pokemon. Your whole logo is all Pokemon. You sell a bunch of Pokemon merchandise. You sell a bunch of this. You sell a bunch of that. Not hating on the game. Not hating on the business. But the delusion and the amount of care and ass takes I got from that entire interaction with you and Rattle on, on both parts. Oh, I'm a real big man. I stand on what I am as a man. That's why I was yelling in front of a bunch of children. I'm not going to take back the fact that I was man. He was talking about my wife. And it just it, it just really shows like what kind of person we're like dealing with that in that case. I'm sure there are fine people and other aspects. But when it comes to them actually holding up like Pokemon in their business or their business, their original takes, their original IP of their own original things they're doing, their entire framework's already been set by either A, other businesses before them, or B, an entire IP that has been laid out. Like, I don't know where you guys feel you're entitled to this, that, and everything else. But I unfortunately do feel like it's going to come. They don't don't fucking take me to court, okay? This is just my opinion. I just feel like at some point, like if Pokemon truly wanted to come down and just like start snapping people that are using Pokemon related slogans or IPs or marketing things, I mean, like they probably could. And the fact that you think somehow you're kind of immune to that while other people have been slapped down for other things is is baffling to me. Oh, it's just catch them. It's not gotta catch them. Yeah, well, every aspect of your business is revolving around their IP. They could probably string that and make a probable cause that it did come from them it came from how that is i mean catch him is literally the last name of ash it's got to catch it like I, I can keep going 
over and over and it's not going to get anywhere I, that was a wild take to me it was completely wild the other big thing too was just how like things were handled apparently like based off the interviews and based off what was going on apparently like the the whole thing we saw was something they're going to stand behind so the south carolina actual catch em collectibles apparently like they they were served these papers by the north carolina ones which they could have totally done that via law enforcement if they really had the trademark and they are really like enforcing it like they very much claim that they can there's it's still pending Ending for this but their common law trademark kicks in and does this like they probably could have had some level of law enforcement actually serve it to them and not go into that because she says oh he was he was intimidating me he was scaring me with how much bigger he was or something like that the south carolina guy being like bigger than the north carolina misses of course and it just it escalates from there where like in all actuality if you have this like legally set up none of this should have even ever happened in the first place this whole thing could have 100 percent been avoided i personally think the interview especially on behalf of north carolina I did not do anything to help their cause. In fact, all it really did was cement what I saw on the video and be like, oh, that's who we're dealing with. We are actually dealing with Karens. We're dealing with people that feel like it is okay to yell in front of children, that feel like it's okay to do this, especially if the legals, it, it's on their side. Like, you're legally in the right. Why would you even risk that? Because you're a man? Well, that, that doesn't really fucking fly past, like, everything else, man. Like, just because you're a man, you'd feel like a man would be able to be like, okay, well, I have this, I have that. Here's maybe the route I should take and, you know, be respectful of other people in that sense and that's coming from me like i swear all the fucking time and even i'm like yeah hey, maybe not like in front of like the children or like these family appropriate venues or something like that man i was just a card party i could have been slinging the the f word and the b word anytime i wanted to but i didn't i didn't do that because that's not where it is that's not the appropriate time that's not the appropriate place and a little bit of like where you are in the know of all that stuff a little bit of common sense i feel like goes a long way i don't really know what they're gonna do i don't know what the whole say is once again if you want to watch the entire two hour thing right did there is a lot of good information there i agree a lot with what rattle says whenever it comes to actually the trademark enforcement pokemon really could come in there and just stomp you guys anytime they want and there's not a damn thing anybody can do about it. they can go in there and stomp and the common people the common knowledge the common average everyday person such as myself i mean you can read the comments it just it doesn't take a fucking genius everybody thinks that name is unoriginal anyway everybody's heard some variant of catch them from somewhere else the amount of sellers i've seen where they've actually done that stuff the amount of cards I've probably bought from eBay where they had some kind of catch them related name. The amount of people who just use like those like really unoriginal Pokemon related slogans as part of their like name or something like that. I'm not hating on it or anything like that, but like to actually like just hold on to this and claim that that is your own original take on something when the entire framework of it comes from another IP just baffles me and it shows like a level of entitlement that I really didn't think I was going to see at this point and the interview really brought that to light I really think it made them look a little bit worse probably could have cleaned it up behind the scenes probably could have cleaned up hey you do you obviously you're the one with the business you're the one fine I'm just talking with the regular people see right here and ultimately it just it, it baffles me that like this is how it was handled and ultimately they're just double tripling down on the words they said what they took how they handled things how the papers were served but hey Sure, they'll be fine if they actually are telling the truth and they have the trademarks on their side and all that stuff. And it, they got nothing to worry about. Everything's going to be just hunky dory, and North Carolina and South Carolina can beef it out somewhere else. It's just a goofy really weird interview and seeing them actually talk about any of the pokemon stuff like they invented it themselves is absolutely hilarious it's just you are not original you're not even the first person to catch them i guarantee it oh i've had the trademark longer yeah well pokemon's marketed it longer let's try that in court let's actually fucking try arguing that with one of nintendo's lawyers who shuts down smash tournaments just because they don't feel like they're actually allowed to be there it's our stuff you can't stream post smash bros because that's our stuff yeah dog like, let's try that with nintendo that seems like a good idea that's all i got appreciate it virgin see you later once again check out rattles video i actually agree with a good chunk of what he says for the most part and he did actually interview both sides respect to that and actually putting that two hour piece together it was a decent watch it's just I, i'm still thinking about some of the stuff that was said and the amount of people who truly think they're original here probably exceeds even what we just saw on the camera have a good one virgin see you later it's a uh, hey, fucking goddamn